Okay. Uh, are we live? Uh, if anybody has been waiting, uh, uh, I'm sorry about um, being late. Uh, I'm figuring out how this whole podcasting thing goes. So I'm, I got fuddled. <laughs> Um, what I wanted to talk about in uh, in this podcast is basically what painting Greece means to me. Um, I uh, have always used uh, painting Greece. I paint Greece uh, in my um, uh, in my videos and and things like that. And I thought that I would just kind of explain that a little bit more. Um, when you are in your daily life and all the stress and difficulties and pressures and, you know, daily life and things are getting very routine and you decide to take a trip somewhere, you know, let's say you come to Greece and the moment you step off the plane you get a sense of this imbalance because you're in a new country, everything is new, you are suddenly awakened and very aware and you become very present uh, throughout the time that you are in a new country. So, of course, Greece is absolutely beautiful and it has all these warm colors and it's dry and and the greens are all of the greens uh, burnt umber greens they're more orangey greens than what you would find in Minnesota which is where I am from and you're just brought into a whole new landscape where everything is new. So you have this, uh, essentially, you are um, slightly imbalanced in what is going on in your daily normal perceptions of how you view the world and your life. And that is the creative space. So I came to Greece. I've always been coming here because my mom is Greek. Uh, My dad was American and I was raised in Minnesota uh, and um, uh, spent my summers in Greece in Athens. And there was such a beautiful, um, uh, it was such a beautiful way to, uh, to grow up uh, spending three months in the summer in, uh, in Greece and getting a handle of the culture and understanding and, and the diversity of living two different cultures while I was growing up. I thought that I, I'm very lucky to, uh, to have had that experience. But even so, when I finished uh, high school and a few years of college, uh, I moved here. And at that time, uh, my mom had uh, bought a piece of land on this small island of Omuyani, which is the only inhabitable island in Halkidiki, which is in northern Greece, uh, about an hour and a half drive from uh, the second largest city, Thessaloniki. And then when you get to the ferry landing, it's really only 10, 15 minutes across. So it's really close, which is great because it's easy access on and off the island. Of course, when you get on the ferry boat to come to the island, there is that sense of detaching yourself from the mainland, 
from all the easy things that are at your fingertips and you're going to a place where you know that you're not going to find uh, big grocery stores and you're not going to find uh, paints and paintbrushes and, and everything that I need uh, here in my studio. And so there is that sense of detachment, of, of stepping away from daily life. For me, as an American and being raised in the culture of the United States where everything is available, everything is just there at your fingertips, day or night, anytime, and to come live on this little tiny island um, was quite an experience and taught me a lot about uh, creativity, about who I am and the capabilities and the strengths that we all carry within us. So coming from uh, a full life, well, you know, you got everything on hand, anything you could possibly need in the States, right? And coming here to this little tiny island, you know, it was a lesson big time. Uh, and I had a really, really hard time in the first years, <laughs> in the first 20 years. Um, I came here uh, when I was, gosh, maybe the first 25 years. I'd, I would come to the point of saying, I want to just be able to go somewhere and sit at a cafe not know anybody, write in my journal, and just people watch. I mean, something as simple as that we didn't have here. And, uh, you know, um, supplies, getting paints. I mean, I came here before the internet, before uh, online shopping. And, you know, if I wanted to buy anything, I had to go to the city, which was a few hours away and uh, take care of it there. And so this whole coming in and closing in to this little tiny island made me uh, start looking inwards, start understanding and cultivating my inner world. And when you leave the United States, let's say, and you fly over to Greece and you step off the plane, it's kind of the same feeling. You are in a different space, so you are more centered and more present in yourself. And you are experiencing things almost with new eyes. So painting Greece, to me, is not only that I'm obviously painting Greece, you know, goats up on the hill, and using the colors and the landscapes here. But when I step into my studio, I am stepping into and cultivating and nourishing that sense of imbalance as if you're just stepping off the plane into a brand new country that you don't know anything about. And that is one of the ways that I feed my creativity, that I'm able to explore and expand myself in this little tiny space. I mean, my studio space is really small. I mean, arm to arm, I can touch the walls. <laughs> and generally, my life here is really small. I don't have, um, I can't go to a movie. I can't just go hang out and shop. <laughs> like, so I paint which was great, right? And also go to um, do cold water swimming, which is my new thing. 
uh, which I've done for the last couple of years. And uh, all of that feeds into my creative realm so that I'm able to come into this little tiny space. And being in here is essentially expanding myself way out there into the inner creative realm. And um, so, you know, that's what painting Greece means to me, right? Uh, I just wanted to uh, get that out and just kind of talk about um, how I'm going to be... uh, I think I'm going to stick with the Painting Grease podcast name because uh, it is more concise to uh, to what I'm doing here and um, and my life here. And so, um, yeah, I'm not good at coming up with names and I'm very new to the podcast thing. So uh, bear with me <laughs> and forgive my flustering and bumbling. Um, uh, So uh, that's about it for today. Um, I will be back in a day or two with a new podcast. Um, I think we'll be talking a little bit about some of the techniques uh, of painting, how to get started perhaps, uh, and working with with getting your mindset minimalized. I mean, getting minimal, minimal palette, um, working with minimal uh, subjects so that you can begin to create form and how that will uplift you and move you more easily into uh, your creative, uh, your own creative realm, your own creative home. And uh, um feed you all of that wonderful Greek food that we have here and and shine on you with that warm Greek sunshine and you can do a do your a cold water swim now that uh, it's becoming winter um, and uh, Uh, getting into the beautiful Aegean and all of that just sparking your energy whether you're here or not but Uh, I will be bringing you into this island life experience through painting and um, through creativity and odd thoughts here and there. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.